Hey there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin guide. Today I'm back on my Stranger Things world because today I'll be teaching you guys how to build Eddie's trailer from of course Stranger Things Season 4. Now we do have a very large trailer to build today, so we're going to get this done in two parts. We're going to do one for the exterior and then we'll do one for all of the interior details as well. Because as you can see, there are a ton of interior details to get done and that is going to take like several thousand hours in itself uh, only kidding it's, it's not gonna be that bad but um yeah there is a lot to do so um yeah that's just i say we just crack on today we just start getting this done let's go for it all right then so first things first we're going to take ourselves an easy section and build the road that leads up to the caravan we'll take ourselves some andesite and some stone sorry not caravan trailer it's because here in england we don't really have like trailer parks we kind of just have caravan sites or like caravan places or something um, and they are basically the same thing they, they literally are the same thing but um, we do change the word slightly so I got myself confused but let's go ahead and dig out the floor for four dig out the floor for four there we go and then what we want to do is leave ourselves a gap of 11 so we're going to need to go to the left for 11 counting this as number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then go up for your four and then we'll dig this out now then what we're planning on doing here is sort of building it up into a diagonal sort of uh, crescent shape I guess and then that way we can have the uh, the sort of trailer coming off from the crescent. So it's a little bit difficult but we've got this in the bag. Right the next thing to do is from the 11, this is where we stop on the 11, we're going to go up past it just for one here, two and then a third one as well just here. And now we'll dig ourselves back in a block here and go up to this one. Oops, sorry, not to there. Just one past it. And then we want to do four here. So that's three and then a fourth one. So we now have this shape just here like so. We then want to dig ourselves up again for this one. And we're going to go digging up for three. I'm just going to go ahead and build diagonal first. And then I'll come back to cutting out this area afterwards. We'll then do ourselves a three again. And a final three up here. So that's three lots of three past the four. We'll then do ourselves two and then three. And then we'll do ourselves. Oh, let me just look at this real quick. So we have ourselves three lots of three, the two. We'll change this into a two, sorry. Then we'll go for a one here. Then we'll go for two again. Then we'll go for one, then a two again. And then we'll go for three lots of one. One, two, three. And then we'll do ourselves two and then four at the very top, like so. So we have this shape just in here. That looks pretty neat. And now what we're gonna do is build everything into like a four block shape. So it's gonna come down from four from this one at the top. So we'll do one, two, three, four, like so. And then we wanna leave ourselves a gap of two, so we'll build this one to here. Then we'll go back in for two. Then we wanna go in for a couple ones. I'm gonna go check how many, but I think it's about the same as the other side, if not four. I'll go and check. So yeah, it's actually four lots of one. So we go one, two, three, four in the diagonal like so. Then we'll go for two. Then we'll do ourselves two again and then one. Then we'll go for two lots of two, just here. Then we'll do a three, then a two, then a three again. And then as we get to here, we'll do four, one, two, three, and four will go here. So we know that's gonna be the fourth one. And then we drop back down for three. So I'm just gonna mark it out here just like so, so then I know it's going to be about here. Now I'll fill in those two, oh sorry, fill in that one just there so we know. So now we have this shape here. Now this very bottom one here, so the one that lines up with that three at the top, should be about 14 blocks in length. Let's just check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Perfect. And if it doesn't match, though, if it doesn't match, sorry, it really doesn't matter because this is just a gravel sort of road. So, um, you know, it's not the most important detail. You can kind of just make this into a random shape. It's just I'm going to use my road to mark out where my trailer is going to be. So I'm going to use this to my advantage. Let's go ahead and cut all this grass out. And then we'll start to alternate with our stone and our andesite. I did that the wrong way around. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just start to dot my stone around. Just like this. I think how I did it on my original one was I literally sort of sat in the trench here and just kind of walked backwards placing it in random spots. 
you go a little bit berserk with it, to be honest. You kind of just go ahead and place it as much as you want to, and then you kind of come back and fill in the gaps with your andesite. So there's no real technique, it's just a case of going random and then being like, ah, oh, that, that will look good if I do this. So then you just go ahead and fill in the, uh, the other material. So let's get this done, guys, and then we'll hop back to the tutorial. Okay, guys, so now we've finished up this road just here. We're going to take ourselves a hopper, some warped fence gates, some polished dorite, some granite slabs, some jungle wood slabs, some iron bars, some smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slabs, and finally blocks of iron as well. We're going to want to come to the top of the road, so on the crescent I was on about up here. And we'll take ourselves our hopper first. We will go to the top and we'll go for one, two, and on three, we'll place a hopper. Then we'll place ourselves a fence gate just here. And it's going to be open so it looks like uh, some type of bin here or like a trolley or something like that just on the side there. Then we'll place a door right block just here. And then we'll go behind it for two jungle wood slabs. And then we'll do one granite as well. Then we'll, set, we'll build ourselves a granite block here. Oh, sorry, just here. And then we'll build two behind it with the slabs. We'll then take our jungle wood slabs and we'll start from the very top and we'll build forward for three. We'll place one and then we'll build a block of jungle just here. We'll then build ourselves four granite planks just in here. Sorry, slabs in here. And then we'll place ourselves a jungle slab just there with a granite one forward and one behind it. Just like so. Then we'll do two more on this side. And then we'll stick ourselves a block of jungle here. With a slab to its right and going upwards for two. Then we'll do ourselves three granite slabs here. A granite block built in here. A slab, oops, slab here. Another block built in here. Then we'll do ourselves two more slabs going to the right just over here. Then we'll do jungle wood slabs behind the two just there. We'll place ourselves a granite slab just in here and two more jungle wood slabs in there. Then we'll take ourselves granite, jungle, granite and then at the very end up here, past the two jungle, we'll stick two more granite slabs, a block of jungle here with one slab to its right and then we'll do ourselves one, two jungle at the very top. Now most of that back section is covered up by furniture so you need not worry about that. Now basically next to the blocks, so here for example, we'll stick a polished dorite. And then over here as well, we'll stick a polished dorite. And then finally there's going to be one on the very end up here. Like so. So you can see where the blocks sort of outline the decking just here. Now to finish up the decking on the left side, we'll just build ourselves a block here with our wood. And then a block here with our granite. And then we'll take smooth quartz stairs going for 11 behind the granite. So that's two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is very important because this is the actual width of the entire trailer. So that is a really, really, you know, nice detail to add in there and really important for the next part. We'll then take ourselves a block of iron and we're going to run this right down past the decking and out from it just by a few blocks. We'll do three for now. Then we'll do four, five. Then we'll go four. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. So we just add four onto that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like so. And that will uh, again help us out knowing where the entire length of the trailer is. Now then, up here, we're going to do ourselves one, two, three, four, and we're going to stick ourselves upside down court stairs out from them, like so. Then we'll do ourselves one block of iron here, no stair on it, and then we'll do another four up this side with stairs on them, upside down forward. And this last block of iron up here that we just placed now will be the one that goes back towards the stair at the very end. So we'll build this in and connect it up to there. Now if you want to count this just to double check we've got the right dimensions ready to go. This should be 24 blocks just here in length. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 blocks of iron and one stair, which is exactly what we should have. 
Perfect. Yeah, that's looking really good, guys. You're doing an awesome job so far. Perfect. Okay, let's next pop back to the decking area. We want to take ourselves our iron bars. We're going to build up from the door right just here, going up for two lots of iron bars, and then we'll do a fence gate. Just, ah, no, actually, this might be an easier method. If we go for four iron bars on each of these, so all four of our door right blocks, oops, four, and then here again, then we can build ourselves out from them for three on the side, one, two, three, and three on the other side, and then the same here, and the same for all of them, and then what we're going to need to do is we're going to knock out the middle three, and then on the second one down we'll stick ourselves a fence gate that is going to be open. Very awkward to get this done, so I'm going to do the rest off camera, but now you know how to build them, go ahead and get these two done as well guys, we got this. Perfect, that looks really good guys, nice work. Before we scrap our inventory here, just make sure to have a block here and a block here of your jungle. Perfect, now we'll grab some more materials. We may need to grab some materials that we've already used in today's tutorial already, such as like the stairs and whatnot, um, but we're going to need to place blocks to get to the stairs if you know what I mean. So um, we'll grab them in a bit. So uh, yeah, let's just get some more materials and continue the build. Now I know it's crazy, but we're actually going to start to build the roof next just so that we have the entire sort of dimensions ready for the interior in the next part. We'll take ourselves smooth quartz stairs once again, smooth quartz slabs once again, a lantern, andesite stairs, andesite slabs, nether brick fences, a smooth stone pressure plate, oh sorry just a stone, <laughs> and a cauldron as well. We're going to come to the left side over here. We're going to go to this sort of iron bar, we're going to need to stake, uh, stake, take even, a block to its right, just a temporary one like so. And this will allow us to stick an upside down stair on it like this. Now this stair will come along, curving around the corner there, and going all the way two blocks in on the building here. So this second stair just along, like so. Perfect. And now we'll take it from the front, and we're going to come around until we reach the second sorry the third support beam over here so this one just here now this is going to get awkward so again we'll need to place a block just here and then turn the stair around still up so down just to there so it stops directly next to it that looks good and then what you can do next is then take yourself a step coming down from it just here you can even do that or you can even go next to this up one uh, this other one like so and kind of close it off like so. That might be easier, save the whole block thing, and then we can continue slabs going this way. Before we do that though, let's go back up this side. We'll take slabs in here, only for about three, just so that we cover the decking, and then we'll do ourselves another row, a block away, a block away, until we reach this step here. And now the next thing to do is make these into actual quartz blocks like so and then the ones that you don't need so this one for example will fill in this one as well will fill in the third one will also fill in and the fourth one will stick ourselves a slab here and here and leave this one empty for a lantern now we can't of course place the lantern just yet because it needs to be dangling from something so in that case we'll grab ourselves an iron trap door and then we can stick ourselves iron trap doors surrounding where the lantern will be and one in the center just there so you can dangle the lantern from it now obviously crouch or shifting and there we go we are going to need to use ourselves iron trap doors for the entire roof as you can see but we're not going to use them just yet just so we don't get ourselves confused okay the next thing to do is beyond the stair we're also going to do ourselves one two three slabs like so so that kind of protrudes there but that's not a problem you can even use yourself stairs there, but I prefer to use slabs just so we have the gap underneath as well. We'll then take ourselves slabs going along until the very end pillar just here, and then we'll go back for our three, just that we're kind of overhanging the edge of the decking there. Good stuff. Okay, now we'll come back in. 
we'll build ourselves these blocks of quartz in here, like so. Then we'll build some slabs, quartz, slabs, oops, sorry, quartz block, and then slabs on this side like so. That will poke through the roof there, but as you can see, it does on the original, and then we cover it up by using ourselves the iron trap doors later. So that is actually kind of a cool design technique there. But yeah, that looks great. Wicked stuff. Okay, the next thing to do is to go onto this side over here, and I'm going to take myself a stair in the in the place of this slab. So I'm going to need to place myself a block once again, or another stair, just to be able to pl uh, place one. Sorry, just there, like so. Good stuff. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take myself a slab, and I'm going to run this across to the other side over here, across to that iron block just there and then I'm going to stop just for a second. Now then beyond the iron block I'll stick myself one more slab. I'm actually going to change this into a block temporarily so I can stick an upside down stair to its right. Then I'll change it back into a slab. I'm going to stick a slab on the end. Also I'm going to change this into a block temporarily to stick a slab around the corner here upside down as well. Replace the slab just in here. And that will show you where the trailer kind of goes up for the front windows there. Cool. Then we need to go around the front side, so we'll bring this stair going along upside down until the we're in line with the iron again. So this stair is obviously in line with the iron here, so we want to do the same on this side. So up to where the iron stops just there. Then we'll do our slab, or a block in this case, just to place our upside down stair behind it. And then we'll replace the slab just in here. So the next thing to do is go right the way along the back with your slabs. Oh, just checking this. What have I done here? Oh, I see. I'll stick another upside down stair there instead. And then I'll take my slabs going along this way. Just leaving ourselves almost like a three lot of stair here. But it's obviously just the two. And then we'll bring the slab along. Until we are on that iron block below it just there. Wicked. Now awkwardly, when you get to the iron block again, we're going to do the same as we did before. So we're going to need to place ourselves a stair sort of turned on its side. So upside down as well, and like so. And then obviously one goes past it too. Then we'll stick ourselves a slab up here, and another upside down stair there. Oh, well that just saved me a bunch of trouble. <laughs> I was like, oh, we need to change it into a block, but no, it just went straight away. Ah, never mind. And then all we need to do next is just bring ourselves the... I think it could be slabs all the way along here, connecting them. So um, the same as the front and back sides, but not the other side. So we do ourselves this weird stair thing once again, and then uh, we'll connect the rest of it with our slabs. That's actually quite simple. So on the second stair here, change that one into like a sideways one and add one there, and then just add in slabs across the middle there. And voila, we have ourselves the preparations ready for the rooftop. Good stuff. Now let's pop back down to the front decking area. We will go to this side over here and we'll build ourselves in a cauldron just there directly next to the decking. Two blocks away on the third one, take yourself your slabs and build a block. Place a stair here, build a block in the floor just out from the stair. Build two more blocks in the floor to the right and another block just here. Then we'll take ourselves nether brick fences coming down like a railing and then we'll take a stone pressure plate on top of the, the block up there uh, for the uh, staircase just there. Finally all that's left to do for, for now is to go to the front again, so over on this side and we just want to add in ourselves a couple cauldrons for the bins. So we're going to need to go to the second iron block along, we'll go one, two, three blocks out, on the fourth one we'll place a cauldron. We'll go two blocks to the right, and then back in for one, and place them in the cauldron just there. You can even do it just a bit further away. How about there? Yeah, that looks kind of cool. And there we go. Let's get some more materials. Now then, we may as well build some of the decking decoration, so we can get this all done, and then, you know, when it comes to the next part, we're going to be all ready to go. We'll take some mud brick stairs, some dark oak wood stairs, some dark oak trapdoors, some mangrove trapdoors, some brown carpet, some spruce trapdoors, some stripped spruce wood, some dark oak wood slabs, and some jungle pressure plates as well. 
please bear in mind guys, if I do go too quickly or you do get confused, remember to pause if you need to and ask me any questions you may have down in the comments below. Okay, the next thing to do is we'll take ourselves our spruce, our stripped spruce just over here. We'll go to the middle of the cauldrons, just roughly about there, and a block away from the trailer. We'll place brown carpet on top, a mangrove trapdoor folded up the front, and then two spruce trapdoors folding on each side. And you can even do one around the back if you want to. And that just represents an old television, uh, just there like so. The next thing to do is to go onto the decking. You go to the second uh, jungle block just here. We'll take ourselves a dark oak wood stair with a dark oak trapdoor on top for a little shelf. Then we'll place a mud brick stair just here. And then we'll place ourselves one, two, three this way and another one curved like so. It is kind of a very big sofa, but that goes in there like so. We'll then take a jungle pressure plate a block away from it, just on the jungle wood planks there. Uh, sorry, slabs there. Then in line with this row just here, we'll place a slab of dark oak with a dark oak trapdoor folded up behind it, just for a little sort of chair there. And then that is all we can do for now, just here. Good stuff. Okay, so time for the actual main event. This is going to be building the walls of Ellie's trailer just here. Let's take some pillar quartz block, some quartz bricks, some light grey stained glass, some iron doors, some smooth quartz stairs, levers, and a jungle trap door as well. Firstly, we're going to start on the front right side over here. We're going to alternate between our quartz bricks and our pillar quartz block. Now if you guys don't want to do the same as me, that is absolutely fine. You can go your own way with this and just kind of use these to make it look very old and run down. Firstly, I'm going to start by placing myself two quartz bricks here with an upside down quartz stair to its right, just like so. Then I'm going to take myself my windows. I'll place in two light grey just here. And I'm going to go along to the left side for another three and stack up another three just there. So a four block window. I'm going to do four, sorry, three quartz bricks on top of it. I'm going to do two pillars coming out to the right with two down. And then I'm going to place myself an upside down stair just here with pillars going up for two, like so. Now we only need to fill in the amount of blocks that we can see from the front side. So technically, we're not going to see this pillar from the front, so we only need to add in the two. But we were going to go ahead and place another one here anyways, because we're going to need to run pillars on their side going across to the quartz bricks there and beyond it for another one and down for one like so then we'll connect up some quartz pillar here for three then add in two just there then we can place our front door on which is a major step in this tutorial it just goes here like so actually I'm going to place it the other way around just so I have myself the hinges on the left there then I'm going to do myself a light grey stained glass block up top and then two more pillar quartz above that as well then I'm going to do three down from it here, a little bit awkward because of the door but we can shift or crouch click for that one and then I'll do myself quartz bricks at the top and bottom of those pillar like so then I'll take myself my pillar quartz going along for three one, two, three, again on their side we'll do a two block window just in here we'll do two more quartz bricks in here we'll do ourselves pillar quartz going down the side here and stopping before that bottom window we'll do a quartz brick in here we'll make sure the pillar quartz goes along past the window just here so that it actually has itself another block in here like so and then that way we can take ourselves one two quartz bricks and one to the left like so we'll do pillar quartz at the very top and then pillar quartz down to the bottom like so We'll then take ourselves quartz bricks for three, just in here. A window here. Quartz bricks, quartz bricks, <laughs> quartz bricks even for two. And then we'll do one, two, upwards and to the left like so. Diagonally down from this one, we're going to place a window. So we'll take a pillar quartz temporary here, and then a window there. Well, that's not going to be temporary. That's going to be you know there for the whole time. But we're going to do the pillar quartz together in a second. We'll take another iron trap door just here. Uh, sorry, normal door. It's going to need to be on this um, right side, the hinges. So if we take ourselves our pillar quartz now and run it along to where the door will be, we can stick our hinges to the 
uh, right side. Then we'll do pillars up here for the very top, like so, and add them at the very, very top up here as well. The majority of this tutorial is pillar quartz on its side because that is the, t the texture of the real trailer. However, to make it look old, I added in the quartz bricks just for a bit more texture. So now beyond the door, we need to place ourselves one final window on the front side. It's going to be two quartz bricks away and another one just here. Then we'll place ourselves a pillar quartz here and two more here. And then we'll do ourselves a window just above this seat. So we'll do one, two, locking out one pillar. I'm going to stick myself a jungle trap door on it here for almost like an air conditioning unit attached to the side of the trailer. I'm going to take myself my uh, pillar quartz again for two here and two more quartz bricks um, above the window just here like so. Then let's fill in the rest with pillar. Two more pillar above the window. We'll do ourselves uh, two more quartz bricks here, pillar at the very top, two more pillars down here. We'll do pillars from the bottom going to the top, way up there. Another pillar is going to go here, but it's going to be facing forwards instead because we don't want any of these square looking things showing from the sides. So it's going to be facing upwards. Then we'll do two more quartz bricks with one forward. An upside down stair is going to go here. And then we'll take ourselves a pillar quartz normally, like so. And then two more on their side, just up here and fill in that gap there. And there we have the front done. Good stuff. Okay around to the left side over here. Now then on this one, we're going to now run stairs all the way along, upside down, until in line with this stairs at the bottom, these stairs at the bottom. We'll then do two more pillar quartz on their side here, two more quartz bricks, pillar quartz until the last one up to here, and that one's going to be facing upwards. We'll then just mimic this, just like so, and then beyond the stairs, on the actual stairs, we're going to need to take, take ourselves uh, two more pillar quartz here, with one here. Another one at the very top. Two more beyond this way. Two quartz bricks here, with two going down to the left. Then we'll build pillar quartz going all the way along to the stairs. So it goes behind the stairs and in the gap. We'll do quartz bricks going down for two and to the right for one. Pillar quartz in here for one three quartz bricks in here and the rest pillar quartz in here like so. Brilliant. Now then around the corner we can replace this one with a sideways pillar quartz going upwards and past the stairs just here. The reason we can do that one is because of course nicely our stairs cover up this front side so we don't see the squares which is always good. We'll do ourselves a quartz brick here, we'll do ourselves another pillar quartz here and then two more quartz bricks above then we'll go to the left and up for two more. Pillar quartz goes in the gap, and then we're going to build a window just in the gap of the quartz bricks. So we'll do one, two blocks of our light grey uh, stained glass even for our windows. Then we'll take ourselves our pillar quartz going along for two more, and then down here we'll need to go along for three. Then we'll take our quartz bricks for two and two again. Two more pillar quartz with a window over here. Two more pillar quartz, oops, sorry, here. And here as well. Then we'll do in this gap here, one, two, two, three quartz bricks with one to the right side. And then we'll build ourselves, just going between the two windows, a nice pillar quartz uh, length just there for five blocks. Then up here we'll do two lots, then quartz bricks for two, and then two more pillar quartz. Now beyond the stairs there's going to be a, sorry, beyond the this window here, there's going to be another window. So we'll need to do an entire row of pillar quartz this way. And then on the same layer as the windows before it, we'll do two more windows here. And then we'll do ourselves one, two quartz bricks on the left side with one to the left, two below it, and then we'll fill in the rest with pillar quartz just like so. Okay then, now we're coming on to the biggest window on this back side, so we'll get to that in a second. So from these two pillar quartz we'll do two more here with one up to the left side, then we'll fill in the rest with 
pillow quartz below it. Then we'll do ourselves two rows of entirely pillow quartz, nice and simple. Gotta love the easy parts. And then we'll do ourselves like a corner piece of quartz bricks. A block away we'll do another three. And then we'll add in ourselves a block there. And then we're going to make sure we add in our window, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six blocks of light gray stained glass. Then we'll do pillar quartz here and two below it. And then beyond it, we need to place one quartz brick, one pillar quartz, two more quartz bricks, pillar quartz in here around it. And then at the very top up here, we can do ourselves just before the stair and in line with the stair two brick quartz bricks, two more to the left side, a normal pillar facing downwards, an upside down stair on that one, pillar quartz going in between all of these spaces here, and another upside down stair here. And on the very final one, we take a pillar quartz going back to the rest of the build up this way. Lovely, look at that guys, that is looking so good. We've done this really well. Hell yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's go around to the final side over here. I know the back is looking a bit strange at the moment. Don't worry, that's going to be Eddie's room and we're going to sort that out for later. We'll come up to this way. In between our stairs, we'll place two more pillar quartz on both sides. Symmetry, which is nice. Then we'll do ourselves upside down stairs all the way along to the other side. Below these. Oops. All upside down. There we go. Then we'll do ourselves a window in the... Uh, in the direct middle in the middle <laughs> which is going to be worth five blocks in length so this entire space and it's going to go up for two blocks again in line with the rest of the windows before it we'll do two more quartz bricks on this side two above it on this right side with one over on the left side and then one down here as well and the rest will need to be filled in we have some sideways pillar quartz like so and again up here just to finish everything up and voila we should have ourselves a nice filled in space just here ready for an entire interior lovely 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 brilliant before we do scrap our inventory let's just take some levers top and bottom of these sideways uh, front sides like so just so they connect up and add like a, a bit more detail there like to the uh, real trailer good stuff so as you can see, we have made some insane progress already today. We're now going to take ourselves some birch signs, some white candles, quartz bricks, grindstone, iron trap doors, smooth quartz block, and some iron bars once again. We now want to go ahead and come to the front door over here, and we're going to need to add in some details. We'll go ahead and add in the front porch light by adding in ourselves a temporary block here with one white candle above it like so. We'll then take a birch sign up to the top right of the window and we'll do ourselves a five on the top row. Now this is going to get very awkward because we need to get a row down but we also need to sort of space these between them if that makes sense. So you kind of have to do this sort of thing here and make sure they're, they're sort of close but not too close. The five needs to be more sort of towards the middle like so so you have them on the same layer Sorry, on separate layers, but close enough to read them. Just so, so awkward. Ever since they uh, they made Minecraft into Bedrock on console, the signs have become the most problematic thing, in my opinion. So if we do that, and then we bring the three backwards, should be able to get it in the direct center. There we go. Okay, phew, that looks good. And then we'll take ourselves a grindstone block on this side up here. So behind the, the chair here, we'll do one on its side with a iron trap door on top. Again, part of the air conditioning unit uh, that goes on the side of the trailer. Okay, the next thing to do is we're going to go up to the top, up to the ceiling. We'll start with an iron trap door in line with the stair on the side here. And we'll build in like a perimeter here, just that we know not to touch any of this upside down stair. Um, part of the roof for the decking here. We're not going to build on this one. We will build past it though and we'll take iron trap doors on every single block um, apart from those ones. So even the ones on you know these exterior slabs as well. We'll take them on there and we'll go all the way around 
filling over this entire section with iron trap doors. But firstly, we need to sort of fill in the roof here with some smooth quartz blocks. So we'll just go ahead and sort of smooth the entire thing over, which will make the inside very, very dark, but that's okay. We do have quite a lot of windows, which is helpful. So if we go ahead and fill this all over, and we'll need to patch a few holes as well below. So we do this. I'm gonna leave myself one block gap so I can get it in and out, just to here. And we'll take ourselves quartz bricks patching up these two gaps. We'll fly out the hole, we'll patch up the roof, and then we'll fill in all of the iron trap doors up here besides these ones we left empty. Let's get this all filled up guys, and then we'll get back to the tutorial. I'm going to be deadly honest with you guys, that is honestly the worst part of this tutorial. Like the entire thing, the interior is way easier than just placing these blooming iron trap doors, they are so annoying. Um, <laughs> but there we go, that all looks really really good now, so that is perfect. We now have ourselves a roof which is brilliant progress. We'll go ahead and take our grindstone again, we'll come to this sort of corner here and we need to count. We'll go for three along this way, on the third sort of layer. We'll go back in on the fifth one is where we'll build. So one, two, three, four, and on five, we'll place ourselves a grindstone on its side like so. We'll then go to the two to the left of it. So this one is where we'll count from. We'll go right up and we'll go to the fourth one from the end there. So just here. This one will be an antenna for the TV. So we'll go ahead and build ourselves one, two, three iron bars like so. Oh, no, we'll just do two actually. And then we'll do one iron bar this way and one this way. So just a tiny little sort of antenna there like so. Just to add a little bit of detail on the roof. Not the most important thing, but it does look cool once it's done. Okay, and I think we should get the interior walls done today and then we're done. Perfect. Now the first real challenge is going to be making the caravan, sorry, the trailer look a lot smaller than it actually is. I mean on the interior right now, whoop, if we get in, look at this. It looks massive, but we're actually going to make this into a very, very small area. We're going to take an anvil, a blast furnace, a dark oak fence gate, dark oak wood planks, a smooth quartz slab, spruce doors, dark oak wood stairs, some grey glazed terracotta, and some cyan glazed terracotta as well. Firstly, we're going to need to go ahead and kind of jump outside for this one. Uh, see if I can break myself out. I don't want to kind of destroy anything. Uh, I'm going to have to destroy the door for a minute. That's alright. We'll put it back in a second. We'll place a blast furnace down here, we'll do an anvil on its sort of side this way and then we'll take a, a dark oak fence gate open just for the sort of hitch for the trailer there. And now we've used up these materials, I'm going to grab my door back and plonk that back on there. Uh, with the hinges on the right side, ah, I'll sort it out in a minute, it'll be fine. Okay, the next thing to do is to take our dark oak wood planks, we'll go to this back door over here and we're going to build ourselves upwards just to the ceiling here. Then I'm going to do myself a block in here, which we'll probably replace when we make the interior, but for now we can just use that there. We'll stick a door on here, two more blocks above it, another couple blocks in here, and then we're actually going to build blocks all the way to the end over here and just kind of fill this up. You can fill this entirely up and we'll replace some blocks in a second. We'll then come to this one just here, we'll add in a block there, leaving a gap of two, we'll build another two above it, like so. This is going to be needing to be the bathroom door, we'll add that in a moment. Going into this room over here, we'll go ahead and take ourselves some cyan glazed terracotta. We'll do two, just in line with, I think this could be in line with the top up here. Just two there like so, and then we'll do ourselves two um, cyan just in here like so, so in line with the window. It looks a bit strange at the moment because we haven't got the floor in. It looks very, very unfinished, um, but we will be getting onto that section later. But yeah, that looks good for now. Yeah, cool. So now going back to the outside here, so outside of that room, we'll go ahead and build ourselves another door in here. Then we'll do three blocks of planks and build these straight up to the ceiling. Now we can take a second and just place ourselves a couple slabs in here. I'm going to do myself three in here, just like so. Um, but we technically are going to need this space anyways for the rest of the wall. So we'll place three for now, but it's not going to be there the entire time because we'll have like an entire cabinet here and, you know, everything like that. So it'll be all sorted out. 
Over on this next one, we'll stick a block and then a door again and two more planks above this one. You can now go into the bathroom and just next to the doorway over here, so directly next to the doorway, there is going to be a, um, a room just here. So you can come back to this door on the left of it, build yourself a wall in here, so right next to the window. And it's going to make the, uh, the uncle's room very, very small. And then we'll do ourselves another uh, couple blocks of wall. It's going to be one block in total, just here, next to the door. And then we'll go two blocks from the ceiling up here, placing ourselves upside down, dark oak wood stairs like so. And then we'll complete the wall just in here. And that is going to be another block besides the window. So when you go inside, it should just be two blocks in um, width like so. Very, very small room. But there we have it. That is all the interior walls done. I know it's not very, uh, not very detailed, isn't it? But um, yeah, no, that's actually all we need. So that is perfect. But yeah, that is it for today. And well, there you have it, guys. That is how to build the first part in Eddie's trailer. Thank you so much for joining me on this very, very tricky tutorial. Uh, I actually was intending for it to be super, super difficult. But no, once we actually got the roof done and everything, everything sort of fell into place and that was really nice to see. So uh, hopefully the interior will go just as well and that will be coming out on Monday. So this will be posted on Friday and then hopefully the interior will be out on Monday. So you guys don't have to wait too long to be able to complete this all up. But thank you so much for your patience and your support in uh, wanting this tutorial. It's so nice to see you so, you know, um, what the, what's the word I'm looking for? encouraging I guess um, and uh, you know really enthusiastic about wanting to build this um, it's really really awesome for me as a content creator but also as a fan of Stranger Things to be able to bring you guys something from the series so thank you for giving me that opportunity if you guys did enjoy today's video please be sure to drop a like on it that would be awesome if you are interested in staying tuned for future Stranger Things tutorials and uploads this is my Stranger Things world I know it looks very empty but there are tons and tons of builds this way just behind me it's just my render distance is so low um, yeah I literally got lost trying to find where I built the caravan today with the trailer so that was fun but hey if you are interested please consider joining the assassin today for free by subscribing and if you are on social media so am I please go ahead and drop me a follow on things like Instagram Twitter and all the other crazy ones too links in the description and until the next time guys have an excellent rest of your day have a great weekend and I will see you very shortly Goodbye for now, Assassins. Thank you so much.